Now we're going to walk you through a five exercise program that is designed to pack mass onto your shoulders. We're going to begin with the seated military press, four sets of 12, then 10, then eight, then six reps each. Paramitting the weight up as a number of reps come down. Second, we'll show you how to maximize the seated dumbbell press, where you'll start heavy and pyramid down each of three sets, raising your reps from six to eight to 10. Third, we'll demonstrate the front dumbbell raise, two sets of 10 at the same weight. Fourth, we'll do another raise, the dumbbell lateral raise, three sets of eight, eight, then 10, starting with a heavy dumbbell the first two times through and dropping the weight for the third set. Finally, we'll finish with a bent over dumbbell raise. Again, three sets of eight, eight, and 10, heavy on the first two sets and lighter on the third. Let's do it. The barbell press can be done standing or seated. We're going to go with the seated version here because it reduces body movement. We also recommend it as a safer alternative to the behind the neck press that some lifters prefer. To begin, make sure your bar is not overloaded, but that it offers serious resistance. Use a spotter if you can. Grasp your bar with a firm palms up grip, then slowly and deliberately keeping your shoulders back and your chest out while maintaining normal spinal curvature, inhale, hold the breath and press the bar directly overhead. Keep your eyes directly forward or up slightly. Get every inch out of your extension to get full contraction not only of your delts, but in your upper traps as well. Pause only slightly at the top, exhale and return to the starting position and move steadily into your reps. Again, one of the great advantages of the seated press is that you automatically reduce the momentum that you can sometimes get during the standing press. Another advantage, the seated version forces you to remain more upright. You can develop more intensity this way and at the same time gain greater stability. To begin, select a padded seat. Grasp and raise your dumbbells to shoulder level so that you have a palms up grip. Importantly, make sure your thumb is wrapped around the bar. This thumb placement could mean the difference between safety and serious injury if you fatigue or lose control of the dumbbells. Now, slowly and deliberately, avoiding any jerking or swinging motions, keeping your shoulders back and your chest out while maintaining normal spinal curvature, inhale, hold the breath, and press the dumbbells directly overhead. Keep your eyes directly forward or up slightly. Get every inch out of your extension to get full contraction not only in your delts, but in your upper traps as well. A couple of tips. Remember, unlike the standing overhead press, you're not using your legs as shock absorbers, so be cautious about overdoing the weight. Wearing a belt can further help stabilize your spine. Keep your torso steady throughout, keep your abs tight, and move through your reps with a smooth, firm motion and total concentration. There are lots of ways of doing the front dumbbell raise, the most common being the one we're going to demonstrate today, the overhand grip to shoulder level. But we'll also have a look at several variations so you can work the muscles a little differently each time. Give them all a try over the next few weeks. To begin the exercise, stand in a stable, natural, upright position with a dumbbell in each hand, arms straight down and hands in front of your thighs. You can hold them with a pronated grip, like this, or with a neutral grip, that's with your palms facing each other. As you raise your arms directly in front of your body, inhale and hold that breath. Keep your arms straight without allowing your elbow joints to lock. Hold back on the body English and let your shoulders do the work. As you reach the top position just above shoulder level, exhale and return to the start position under strict control. Pause for a second, then repeat for reps. All right, how do we maximize this exercise? If you want extra contraction in your anterior deltoids here, use the neutral grip. If you want to really rip up your upper pecs, use more weight and don't worry about extending the dumbbells above shoulder level. 
If it's the traps and serratus anterior here under the arms, you're looking to work, then raise the weights all the way directly overhead like this. Always under control on the way up and on the way down. And if you want to mix it up a little, do alternative lifts. Left, right, left, right. Working at a moderate rate of speed to assure that you don't swing and that you get the full range of motion. For general development of your upper torso muscle groups with this exercise and with all exercises, I want to stress, get the form right. Don't use so much weight that you're pushing forward with your hips or leaning back. Technique is everything. For the dumbbell lateral raise, grasp your dumbbells with a palms down grip and start with them by your sides. Inhale and while holding the breath, raise your arms straight out to the sides of your body, leading with your elbows until they are directly in line with your shoulders. With a slight bend in your elbows, your hands will be just in front of your body. Keep the motion constant with only slight pauses at the bottom to inhale in order to keep continuous tension on your deltoids. In your mind, concentrate on keeping your upper arms directly outward and on leading with your elbows to draw all movement directly from the middle deltoids. Ready to zero in on your rear delts? Then this is the isolation movement you want. Because you are standing in an unusual position, strict proper form is even more critical than ever. So let's get it right. Go light on the weights at the beginning to make sure you're going to get the full extension and are recruiting the right muscle fibers. Stand holding a lightweight dumbbell in each hand with your palms facing each other. Bend forward at your hips, keeping your back slightly arched at all times and your knees bent. In this start position, your back should be horizontal to the floor, not rounded at all, with your knees bent for better balance. One thing. If you find holding this position tough on the back of your hamstrings or on your lower back, then lie face down on a high bench or reversed on an inclined bench with your arms fully extended down and proceed just as you would standing. Okay, now that you're in a stable position with your arms hanging down perpendicular to your torso, inhale, hold your breath, and raise your straight arms out to each side and upward as high as possible. Exhale as you return your arms to the initial position. Pause for a moment, then repeat into reps. See how he's keeping his arms in line with his shoulders? That's perfect. And you can keep a slight bend in your elbows, as long as your upper arms stay in line with your shoulders. Here's a few ways to laser target particular muscle groups. If you're aiming to develop your posterior deltoids, start the exercise with rounded shoulders and raise your arms as high as you possibly can. Don't squeeze your shoulder blades together at all with this variation. Try to keep the movement at the shoulder joint alone. To work the middle trap and rhomboid muscles, round your shoulders in the start position and squeeze your shoulder blades together hard at the finish position. In all, try to keep your arms as straight as possible without being locked. That'll give you your maximum range of motion, which goes a long way towards maximum effectiveness.